happens. Uh, but I got to do this. I got to cover this. Because I do also want to grow MME with our own takes, hot takes and discussion. And I think we've been doing a good job of that this year. 2023. Wait, wait. Can you say it's Max with a hot, hot take? Oh no, I didn't. I don't say like I don't. I don't agree with that. I don't see. I didn't say it like that. (laughs) Okay, I'm just saying your your impersonation wasn't on. Wasn't that great? Oh yeah, that's true. (laughs) With a hot, hot topic or something like that, like I used to. But we have been having discussions and hot takes and debates on our own too. But I've been also looking at. Especially since yesterday when we are covering CNN and the ratings going down in legacy media and then the trends of YouTube. Just for example, the news, the news that happens on YouTube, uh, the growth is all in where I see it and the trends are in the, uh, the YouTubers. Comb- like this is just for like the politics angle, okay? Um, or the growth is in the commentators that not only give their own hot takes, but they react to legacy media's hot takes. And as much as criticism that I've got in the past for doing reactions to other content creators, that has always been part of my brand. You know, that's and that's just been vision organic. that's of- just that's just been organic for me. Now, I don't want to do whole shows dedicated to someone else's hot take like we used to. Right, Brian? Thank you. Yes, but I also think you need to find another word for organic. Like, another usage for it. Like, you know, natural? Natural, okay. That's naturally been me. Like, look at, you know, look at my old intro. It's And I don't, subjectively, I don't think I, there may have been instances where I crossed the line. But I don't think I was like overly. You've been known to personal. Every now and again. It's just been yeah. more entertainment wise on people's hot takes, and yeah, even uh, Mueller that does EFAP. I'm not the one that originated or anything, but it's always been part of it. And we get some great res- I look at my analytics. Some of the best content, some of the most engaged content, has been like uh, when I. You know, one one of the best videos is when I said, "Oh, Grace is talking about John Campia with the Sony situation and Spider Man," and that video is like up to eight thousand views. You know, so it's going to stay part of MME Live, and we're going to react, and we're going to not all the time. I I I want to do it. You know, I don't want to go over. You don't want to become more it, like Collider. No, I'm saying I want to be. I want to cover all kinds of things. It helps with content. And there's a lot of growth for the channel with both clip outs and reacting to other people, but not going extremely personal. Just react to their take or criticize their take, but don't go, oh, that's a person's an is. Or you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Not like that. And it, it, yeah. it, it, you don't it, have it, to go the, all out on criticism like that. But. And other parts of YouTube have had extreme success with not only having their own takes, but commenting other one. And there's lots of people enjoy that. So keep, if you want me to, to react to someone's hot take, or you think there's something out, you know, send me, send me clips and stuff. Oh, you need to, you need to react to this at like two minutes in or something, you know, and that does make more content. It makes good content. Let's just not. Let's just try to keep it professional. We'll react and have fun, entertainment. Try to keep the shit talk to a minimum. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so, this is what I see on the platform. It's not isolated to movie talk. That's why I gave the example of news. Other pundits are doing this, and this is where they are getting the most growth. I've seen the channels that comment on other commentators get growth, whereas the legacy stuff that only do their own are stagnant, losing views. So I'm going to do it. Well, it's the, not, it's uh, not only because I it's not only because of trends, it's because it works. It's always been part of the show. 
I think a constructive criticism is max. Don't only do that. I, I agree. That's not, that could be lame. If you only react to other people, that's lame. A healthy, healthy dose of that, you know? What about taking advantage of this playlist thing that YouTube has? Like, uh, and organize certain clip outs or. Yeah, live that would be and... great, but I'm not the most organized. I, I've tried to do playlists in the past and it's just, uh, it just, I don't, I do enough. I take it up. might actually for, benefit. For, here, here's an example for the other thing I'm doing. I, I modeled off the new thing with StreamYard. Why there's been so many clip outs. I've modeled a little bit off of the out, not the content wise, but the output of the John Campia show. He does a live stream and he does clip outs and they all come out. And that's how he stays in the algorithm. But he pays people to clip out and make titles and um, new thumbnails. And I don't have that. I don't have the resources to do that. I do that all myself. I mean, there I was, was there was a point. There was a point where I was going to get someone just to do clip outs, thumbnails, and titles and release videos. But and we're not in I a situation where I could thumbnails. do that yet. What's that? I could do thumbnails. Yeah, but then you, but then you shouldn't be doing that for, for you know. I can't accommodate paying people I mean, at this it time. Yeah, it's yeah. fun to do. To be okay, honest. well, I don't want to take advantage of people either. I'm just saying this is. I mean, even if you're doing it for free, somebody can misconstrue it like yes. you're taking advantage of people. So. Yeah, I don't want to take advantage of people. I'm just explaining that that's the difference. He has the resources to accommodate being in the algorithm that much with all these different topics. Where I'm doing this on my own now. Like I end the show and I do clip outs and I schedule clip outs videos thumbnails you know um but this is what i see and this is i think this is important for growth on youtube i also did not want to do shorts i really went against doing shorts but there's some shorts that really helped the channel this month even though it's like eight cents for like thousands of views you it gets you it great. gets you yes what if you did the the shorts I know you don't want to buy like steel books or anything, but what if like do you still buy comics and like collectible stuff, right? Yeah, that could be your shorts. Yeah, I mean, there's all kinds well, of it's things. I wanted to just do yeah. clip outs from the show, though. I mean, yeah, those those are a whole. Yeah, lot well, of, like, I'll they're gonna do well. But yeah. what if you also like had those? <sighs> that that, that, that right. I'm sorry, man. That requires effort. No, I would like I I would like to do that too. There's all kinds of things I could do for shorts. Yes, I actually would like to get my mic back and mm -hmm. do stuff on my phone and record that way. But I think I'm gonna have to buy a new mic. Unfortunately, I think that ship has passed. I might try to reach out one more time, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. Uh, Raya says I'm happy to hear. Yeah, it's a lot of work to do the extra stuff, and I don't just want single video stuff to only be clip outs from the live show either i'd like to have fresh content too but uh that's just the rat but things are things are doing good on the channel we had little bumps in the road the last few months but overall the views are up to like i'm up to seventy thousand views this month and my goal was to try to get to a hundred thousand views to get into that algorithm so Hello. i i have to do my just so you guys know the views for clip out single video, the shorts in the videos together have surpassed the live stream views for this month. So that is important. And now that I make, and now that I'm transparent and I'm sharing that with you, I see that other people are going to do that too, even though, you know, uh, all right, but that is working. Uh, so I, but I'm not going to stray away from geeks and gamers either now. But I don't want to dwell on it and do the whole react to the whole video. Just react to part of it. There's not. It's not necessary to spend an hour on one freaking video, and that's on me. That's on me, you know. Um, so that's just what I've noticed with trends on YouTube and what works, and that does also differentiate us from John Campia show. You know, John Campia said people are copying me all the time. Well. You know what? Unfortunately, John Campia's show has hit a few snags recently. They've kind of downgraded the amount of panels they have, and they do not. He does not necessarily comment on other other on other pundits too, and that is something that we've done for here for a while. 
you know. Uh, so that's just an update. All right, I need a drink. Woo. I'm parched. What the hell, man? All right. Mm.